Hi, I am back again with my batch of Casios in all colors of the Olympic medals, you can see. Um, I had some things to add. Uh, I just added this watch to the collection. This is the old classic F91W um, in the white and silver version, which is then quite modern, I guess. I like this watch a lot and there are quite some interesting comparisons to be made with the F201, this one, and also the W217, which is the copper one. Uh, I already did a comparison between the copper one, the silver one and the gold one, so I won't go much into details. Um, about the stuff I already did. I will put a link in the description if you are wondering what I had to said about these watches before. Um, what I found very interesting about these two silver watches is that they have a completely different approach to legibility. And that was what I wanted to address. First, the old one. The 201. As you might see, this watch has another type of display than the F91. To start, this display is more grayish metallic. I don't know whether I can show it in the right lighting, but it has a little bit of a darker hue to it than the other one. Also, what is quite notable is how deeply seated the display actually is in the watch. You can see by the shadows on the sides how far down the display reaches in the case. Another thing to be noticed is that the digits are quite bold and they are quite narrow in comparison to the other one. First I'm going to just give you a look at this watch and then I will take it a watch. So it's not only that the display is seated more inside the case, it is also that the material used to make the display is thicker as well. So you have more of this kind of floating effect with the digits. It floats above the background. And in some lighting, you will get some kind of shadows around the digits that make, gives it a little bit of a fuzzy look makes it more appear more fuzzy. So, now the other one. This watch is known for its crappy lighting, but to be honest, I don't use it that much. I only use it when it's really, really dark because the legibility of this watch is much better than of the other one. As you can already see, the display background is quite silvery. It is a lot brighter than what you would get with the other display. Also, the display itself is thinner and it rises more to the surface, so it is quite flat. And that is actually also very nice because that makes for quite a good contrast. Because the, the, the display itself is also thinner, you won't get that much of a shadow behind the digits, so the digits stay more crisp. Another difference is that the digits are less bold, so they are thinner, 
and also they are less narrow so they are a little bit more wide and that makes it also easy to read I'll put them side by side now so you can see what I mean and I actually really like the legibility of the older F91W quite a lot. As said before, the lighting of the Indus watch is really crappy. It's notorious for that. You can't hardly see it in daylight. Maybe if I put my hand. So it's really almost unnoticeable. But you don't really need it that much, only when it's dark. And when it's dark, it is enough. This one has led better lighting, you can see it even in this, these quite bright lighting conditions. So that's one thing I noticed. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that the cases of these watches are both, both made of resin and they are spray painted in a silver tone. Um, I talked about the scuff marks on this watch yesterday yeah you can have a look at them there is this gray plastic underneath the case itself has been spray painted from all sides the only place you can really see the original color is at the inside of the lux because there they didn't spray paint it but Apart from that, it has been spray painted everywhere. You don't get this with this watch. This watch has been spray painted from most of the sides, but on the edge, on the lower edge, on the bottom, you will see the white resin. So I thought that was quite interesting. I don't know why they didn't bother to also spray paint this area but yeah it kind of makes it in a, into a two-tone watch uh, you don't you won't notice it if you are wearing it on wrist because well it sinks a little bit into your wrists and well it's the the color difference the tone difference is, is it isn't metallic but apart from that it's not really obvious but I found it to be quite interesting I didn't don't know why they made that choice now I also as a small bonus I wanted to compare the scuff marks on these watches this is the gold tone as you can see this one has an even darker screen because it has a green hue to it this one has a gray hue to it um, but What's most interesting is that if you see the scuff mark marks on this watch, you'll notice that they are bright grayish white. They do look a lot like the silver that is sprayed on it. Now, this watch also has some scuff marks, as you can see, but here it's almost like there is a yellowish gray hue to the plastic. I don't know whether it shows it well. It's almost like they pre-colored the plastics they used for this watch in a way that would better suit the gold on top so that if you get the well unavoidable scuff marks you see right here that it wouldn't shine through as much as would be the case otherwise. I don't know whether it is just a little bit of after coloring of the paint so that maybe with some more erosion um, the, the, the yellowish color of the plastics wear off and there is this bright white underneath. But for now I thought it was an interesting remark to make. Finally, to be complete, I also brought in the bronze watch, B 
because there is a noticeable difference in displays of display background, I should say, between these two watches and this watch. Um, these, as I said, have some kind of darker hue to the background. It's more metallic and more dark. This one has a green yellowish hue. This one has a gray hue. This one has a more kind of copper hue, but the display background itself is quite silvery, more like the what would you, you would get with the other watch I. So these are more comparable. Still, this one has a very oh yeah, deep seated display. So that's you will find much more shadowy shadows on the side. And the numerals are also much bolder um, and a little bit narrow compared to the other watch. So, it does seem that these watches take different approaches to legibility. And I found it quite interesting to notice that although this one has quite terrible lighting, it doesn't matter that much for the functionality. Bye for now.